Okay, so Command minus will let you take a look at the entire layout of the page when you zoom out of it. The pages, this particular page is page 16 that just has a photograph. If I double click on it, it fills it to the vertical uh, format for it. In the layers panel, all of these scans are actually on the layers. You'll see them all placed on this particular layer. So I'm just going to lock it, which is right next to it, and put a new layer above this. And um, this layer, I'm going to double click and just name it page 16. So it has a um, segment highlighted for each piece. On your desktop is the picture. So I just need to go to File and Place. And uh, the image is right on your desktop in a folder for items for page 16 is where it should be listed. And it's just this photograph of this family here. When I click, you'll see the loaded icon. There's a number of ways to do this. The easiest one, for starters, is to just click and let the image show up. You can see it's not the perfect scale to this size. And what you can do when you have the selection tool is to click on this and hold the shift key down, and it'll enlarge the picture frame when I undo it. <clears throat> the other way is to hold the shift key after I start to uh, modify this. So when you can see it just has the frame itself. That's the piece. So I'm holding down just to undo that. Select the picture. You just hold the shift key down. The frame that's within this picture, every image has this frame text box as well as a photograph. Undo it. Make sure you hold the shift and the command key down to drag this piece open. Once you get it, place it into the corner here. I just have it up at the top left. Do the same thing. Hold the command shift and just drag the picture down so that it makes it to this border, to this edge, and to this top part. And you'll see that there's a, a link right there next to it. So I'm just going to click on the link. <clears throat> It'll highlight when the page has the item selected. It highlights it here so that I can just click on there to embed the link. And that page is embedded right there. Okay. You'll notice there's a number of things, the little frames when you close this up, it actually hides the picture. Just undo that. The part that has the circle inside is now moving the photograph inside the frame that was established when you resized it. So those are those two items. You notice the link is gone because it's been embedded and you have that file pretty well placed in there. Then just go to File, Save, so it saves the document that you're working on. This little red dot disappears. And then as you go to File, Export, uh, this is for the uh, PDF section that you're trying to, to submit. So inside the second quarter, there's a Skills magazine right here in the final page, 16 PDF at the top. So I'll put the title. I'm just going to highlight this. I already have my name and everything listed on there. Just type in the page number for right there. Okay, make sure your last name is the title so I can see it. And just go ahead and hit Save. The only thing you have to do now is to still I take a look at the compressions. I'm going to keep this at 72. I had lowered it for a previous. So all these are for all the images. And when I go back to the general, I want to take a look. This has all in range, so I want to make sure that I hit range and highlight and put 16. So page 16 hopefully will correspond to that piece. And then once you export it, just hit Command Tab and take a look at this piece and see if it's in there. So here's the file. When I hit the space bar, you'll see it's just this page. And Command Tab lets me go right back to InDesign. Okay. Let me just close that part up.